We're a nation of laws, a nation of immigrants, and a nation of compassion. We don't have to choose between the three. Quite to the contrary, we found over time that our ability to be any of those things depends to a very significant degree on our ability to be all three. In other words, this is not a simple binary choice between being compassionate or not. In order to truly be compassionate and be a nation of immigrants, we also have to respect our laws and make sure that our, our borders are secure. There's an ancient principle rooted in our legal system, in, inherited from England, called the Attractive Nuisance Doctrine. Now, look, it doesn't apply perfectly here, uh, but, but there's an analogy embedded within it. Under the Attractive Nuisance document, uh, Doctrine, if you've got something on your property that you know is going to be attractive to others, likely to bring them onto or across your property, and you don't take reasonable steps to keep them out, and you know that that thing that's attracting them also poses a significant danger to them, then you can be held liable for not taking reasonable steps to keep them out. So how does that relate here? Well, in a broad sense, think about what President Biden said and did while he was campaigning to be President of the United States, while he was campaigning. I, I suppose to his credit in some ways, and that he's been consistent with what he said he would do. He said if he were elected president, that the border would be open. It'd be open for business. He would throw it open, even in the midst of a global pandemic. Well, guess what? He did, and, and, it, and it worked. And all of a sudden, he, he did that, and he reversed the migrant protection protocols there to make sure that those drawn across our border into our land would be protected. This is for their own sake and for the sake of our laws and for the sake of the decency and sustainability of our own immigration system. Now, the smugglers, the coyotes, uh, all of which bear allegiance or support in one way or another, these multinational, multi-multi-billion-dollar-a-year drug cartels, have been emboldened by these policies and promises and actions. And, in fact, we, we found during our recent trip to the border that they're so comfortable operating in this space that they, they openly taunted Border Patrol personnel as we stood on the banks of the Rio Grande River. Openly taunted them. Now, whatever uh, people might say, whatever the administration might say about itself, these are policies that have had real and tragic results. You see, because when you draw people onto your property, onto our sovereign land, knowing that they will face significant danger, knowing as we do that about a third of the women who are brought across will be sexually assaulted, that the men will be used as slaves, that the children will be rented out, literally rented, so that illegal immigrant after illegal immigrant can use the child as a hall pass to get across the, the, the border. When you do that and you take vulnerable people from uh, mostly from Northern Triangle countries of Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras who are in dire, desperate circumstances and you know that in their desperation they might well try to get here, you better make darn sure that what you're doing is truly compassionate if that's how you're trying to characterize it. Because what you're doing is put, putting them at a greater risk for harm and you're putting at greater risk our ability to protect our border. One of the other things that uh, we saw during our recent trip to the border, which was consistent with my experience living along the U.S.-Mexico border in southern Texas uh, uh, for two years, is that you will find no group of people more concerned about uncontrolled waves of illegal immigration than those living on or near the border, including and especially those who are the recent immigrants themselves, because it is their jobs, it is their families, it's their schools their communities that are most immediately and most directly threatened. So don't kid yourself into thinking that this is a victimless oversight, or even that it's an oversight whose consequences are anything but well known and well understood. Look, the American people deserve to know. They deserve to know what consequences uh, these policies and these refusals to enforce our laws are having. They deserve to know what ramifications they have as they empower cartels and coyotes and human traffickers 
They deserve to know what's happening on our border. We can be and we must be a nation of laws and of immigrants and of compassion. Somos una nación de leyes y también una nación de inmigrantes y también una nación de compasión. Podemos ser los tres. Debemos de ser los tres. Y tenemos que hacer los tres. Gracias.